Hi, do you tend to stand over the ball on the golf course and just never feel comfortable enough to pull the trigger? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports. Today I'm going to answer a question from a golfer who tends to get a little trapped over the ball and has trouble starting the swing. You're watching Sessions with Doc. Here's the question that I received from Alex. Alex said, I'm 16 years old, I play a lot of competitive golf and currently struggling to hit the ball. I look at the target seven to eight times on average when standing over the ball and can't get myself comfortable. How can I get beyond this challenge? Well, Alex, um, that's really interesting that you're spending a lot of time over the ball looking at the target, what it tells me is you really don't have a well-defined routine. Let's also talk about the breakdowns in your routine as well and what could be causing that. If you remember, Sergio Garcia many years ago, he had a problem with gripping the club where he would grip it and re-grip it and re-grip it. He just never got comfortable. He was probably doing that for 30 seconds over the ball. Well, as you know, He's gotten over that and he just won the Masters recently. Um, so there's hope, obviously, and you can conquer this. But what causes a player to waggle seven times or regrip the club or look at the target over and over again? At some point, you're uncomfortable. The routine is breaking down, maybe because you're trying to be too perfect or you want all your lines and angles to be perfect before you actually pull the trigger. You might be focusing too much on a negative outcome. For example, you might be thinking about don't miss a green, don't plug it in the bunker, don't hit it out of bounds. So thinking about outcome can keep you trapped over the ball as well. Um, so there's many different breakdowns from indecision, from thinking about outcome, uh, through just overanalyzing your swing, wanting everything to be perfect. Maybe you're running through that checklist that a lot of my students do over the ball in terms of their mechanics. All right, so what can you do to help improve this particular issue? My recommendation is you have to start working on a routine. Now that routine isn't just about your looks and waggles. Certainly part of it is, but I remember when I was out at Torrey Pines one year, I worked with a guy named Joe Durant, who he, he now plays on uh, the, the senior tour, which is called the Champions Tour today. And Joe was have, struggling a little bit with the amount of looks and waggles, and he felt a little discombobulated over the ball as well. So what I suggested to him is find a rhythm over the ball that makes sense, that's not too short, and that's not too quick of a pace for you. So maybe you look once, waggle once, you look again, but it's not about counting. I don't want you counting over the ball about how many looks and waggles you're taking. It should be a rhythm. Now, in addition, don't forget that's just the physical part of the routine. You want to have a mental part. You should be engaged with either seeing the shot or feeling the shot that you want to hit and having the confidence and the calm mind that you can hit that shot. So have one thought or image in your mind. I call it tempo or target uh, loosely. And then be able to get into that rhythm over the ball. And on the range, I want to force yourself to stick to that rhythm. Now, once you get to the golf course, you, obviously you stick to the same rhythm. One look, one waggle, one look, one waggle, or vice versa. If it doesn't happen, then just stop pull back off the ball, set up again, and go into your routine again. I don't want you standing up over the ball, looking and waggling six or seven times and practicing that. I want you to force yourself to pull the trigger, even though you may feel a little bit rushed. All right, hope that was helpful. If you want more great tips, check out peaksports.com where you can listen to podcasts, watch videos, and download a free golf report. Thanks. 
want to be notified when we upload more mental training videos just like this one, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the upper right hand corner of this video. We've teed up two more mental training videos for you to check out today. Please visit our website if you want to learn more about mental training.